Hey guys, Takisugi here, here with a new hero on Korean Lost Saga. This is Hero 177, Hong Jin Young. So it's a premium hero. It's based off a uh, female pop star, I believe, from Korea. Uh, so it is not supposed to be male, but that's unfortunately what we're stuck with. Uh, very, uh, you know, kind of effeminate male there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But let's check it out here. So three hit basics. One, two, three. Third hit will knock up. And you can loop it uh, once or twice. Uh, unusual property with this is that your um, first hit, your basic airborne, will actually bounce down uh, compared to the last two hits. So uh, if you're wondering where that bounce down is coming from, it's just from the first attack. For whatever reason, that's how that works. Maybe it makes it easier or something to get the two follow up hits. Uh, you can also uh, jump cancel these. So if you choose to jump cancel at any point you can do that the third hit being a launcher you can uh, you know follow it up with another juggle so say you get like you know the reset here then you go into this and that's your stuff right there so pretty pretty simple and straightforward there so moving on to the hold D the hold D you'll throw out a lightning bolt with your three meter meter passive bar right there and uh, this doesn't lock on anyone it may auto aim though it looks like it does auto aim and it will briefly shock someone, meaning you can usually go into a quick dash attack to launch. Or you can keep it pressing it, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 5 times, and it will continuously shock them. So I don't believe you can block between these. Uh, you can also choose at the end of this to press the block button. It will pull them in, and then they will get fainted. I'm not sure if that's unblockable or not either. It probably is unblockable. I don't know. But you can do it early as well, so you know you want to get that, and you can. Your basics do lift off faints, by the way, but usually you're going to want to do the dash attack we'll do in a second. Uh, so yeah, pretty simple and straightforward whole D there. I don't believe it has any um, any armor break properties or anything. Yeah, it doesn't have any armor break properties, and um, I don't think the ba the I don't think the basics have any guard breaker properties either. That would be pretty insane. Uh, but yeah, you can see pretty much nothing to that right there. So moving on to the dash attacks. So dash attacks, two hit light dasher. Second hit will just kind of sweep them back. And I don't know if you can get a follow up off that or not. It looks like it kind of has a long stun duration for whatever reason, the animation. But I'm pretty sure you could probably block after that. I don't know. I don't know. You can also hold D during your dash, and this will do like a little baseball knee kind of slide. I, I, it's kind of like a... Let me look at the animation of this. It's kind of like a fruity rock star kind of slide. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this will cross up people. It'll go through their uh, bodies and everything. So if you want to do a nice little tricky light one hit and then do like a crossover, you can do that. You can also keep it on the same side as well if you just, you know, press it kind of quickly. So it could be a pretty neat little mix-up situation you get going there. You can't do it after the second hit, so you have to do it after the first hit. And it's very, very quick, very quick and easy uh, knock-up for juggles. Very nice. So like, you know, if I said earlier when I did this, um, usually you would do that to your light dasher, and then you would do your basics after the light dasher, because that's a better setup overall. Um, and that's what they do in the combo video, I believe. So let's try to get that combo again. Ah, I screwed it up. See, <laughs> I screwed it up. I'm not the best at Lost Saga. I'm not even close. Okay, let's try again. There we go. And then you do the jump jump like that, and then you'll do some more. We'll get into that in a little bit. <laughs> so jump attacks, you have a two-hit light jumper. Simple and straightforward. Um, I'm not sure if a double hit will knock down. Yeah, it looks like it knocks down. So there you go. They both look like kind of half faint flinchers, so you know you can get a little bit of uh, gusto on it. And you do have a double jump on this character as well. It seems like every character nowadays has a double jump, and it's just the way it is, I guess. So there you go. No air dasher or anything like that. That's okay. Uh, your air hold D. This will throw like a little lightning bolt. Kind of think of like Zeus, and it'll briefly shock someone. You can go into a juggler. So um, you know, unlike the ground version, you can't do the. Um, follow-ups it's just the, it, but the bonus behind this is that it will ground pick up meaning you can do this and you can do your whole D directly after it and that'll work pretty nicely um, yeah so you can get you can get a lot of neat stuff going off of him hopefully you can get it back here quickly but there is a limiter I'm sure you can get around the limiter eventually but uh, let's try to use the passive like a bunch of times back to back and see how it works out so pull him in two three we'll lift them up here 
Lift them up, bring them in again, wait for them to get down. There we go, try again. And surprisingly, that was not limited. <laughs> let's try to get the limiter. I know it limits, I know it limits. So let's try again. So there we go. We'll just do it the quick and dirty way here. Apparently it's, apparently it's not limiting me. I don't know, guys. It's, it kind of looks like it's not limiting me, so... Uh, I'm sure that will get it patched eventually. I, I okay. I want to try that again. I'm sorry for holding up the video, but I gotta see. I gotta see the shenanigans behind this crap here. If you can do this, that's ridiculous. Yeah, I was a little late there, but it looks like you can do it. Like if it's not limited after four, I mean, you might as well just say forget about it. So there you go. <laughs> but yeah, the air hole D great little resetter. As long as you have the passive to work with, it does consume one meter of the passive. So defensive properties. Let's go see our robot buddies down here. So first of all, you have a deflect on. Uh, what is this character? Hong Jin Young. I had to write it down, guys. I didn't. I don't know who this singer is. I don't know like the Korean. And you also have a uh, half ink flincher with your weapon skills, so that can be defensive as well. So pretty nice there. So let's check out the skills more in depth here. In depth, what am I saying? <laughs> so weapon skill, uh, you summon down a little pulse. You can hit people in between this, and uh, you know it continuously shocks them for up to four times. It looks like, and uh, this will actually lift off grounded as well. If you're curious, there you go, and it will follow you around as well. So you can use it to kind of you know be a little bit more mobile. Let's see how it functions on a crowd here. It's always fun to do. So it will hit everyone in the vicinity. So pretty strong weapon skill, I would say. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. So let's move on to the uh, armor skill. Armor skill. You'll be stationary. So you can probably hear my D-pad. I can't even move right now. And uh, eventually, you know, uh, it'll run out of timer. But, you know, the effect is pretty simple. Max range can be pretty far back. It has to travel a little bit. The charm effect lasts a long, long time. So you have plenty of time to work with that. Let's try to get our max range here. I don't even know what the max range is, is to be honest. So we'll see if this hits. It travels a little ways even if you don't have them targeted. So it works pretty neat like that. So you can see it's pretty far distance. And uh, it gives you plenty of time to go into a juggle or so. So there you go. Does it hit grounded? Unfortunately, it does not hit grounded even though it looks like it should. Uh, it targets the, with the reticule on a grounded opponent. But you can see even when they rise, it's not going to hit. I'm pretty sure I timed that right. Either way, I've tested that, so I know it doesn't hit on rise. Um, I haven't tested the crowd functionality, though. Let me go ahead and double check on this here. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's only single target, so... So much for char uh, charming like a bunch of crowds with your pop music, I guess. You're you're just you got like one fan and that's all you get. So it's automatically targeting Dev K for some. Oh, so you can hit your block key or your jump key to change targets. So there you go. So it is only single target. Interesting. <laughs> I didn't find that out before. All right. So helmet skill. Pretty much you kind of do like a little pump up kind of thing and heal yourself. So let's try to see how much this heals that. So. It's kind of uh, around the K right there. Hit it again. It kind of went up a little bit, so it might be a faster cooldown. But you know, I'm not sure what else that gives besides health. It might give something else besides health. It might actually heal you and your teammates. It looks like it does because it has that aura effect. Either way, moving on to the trinket skill. Trinket skill. Bring out a little, you know, megaphone. This is very Rockstar esque. Um, it actually wore off very quickly there. <laughs> So, uh, you know, you can press your D key and then you can make them do the, uh, you know, the whole shuffling thing from the LMFAO business. You know, they're still in that era where that's, uh, you know, the thing still, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> so, uh, does this hit grounded? I haven't tested that. We'll find out right now. Looks like it hits airborne at least. So, that's one discovery. I'll try it on a completely grounded foe. And it does not look like it hits grounded. So, it might, might hit airborne. It does not hit grounded, so there you go. So that about wraps it up for Hong Jin Young. I'm just going to, I don't know, I don't, I don't want to call it Hong Jin Young every time. <laughs> whatever, whatever. So, you know, it's a low-key, pretty strong hero with this passive here. This passive 
I mean, right now it seems like it can infinite pretty easily, but, uh, you know, you do have juggles and everything. You do have a ground pickup resetter. Um, so, you know, you've got a lot to work with on this character. I mean, you know, the great ground pickup, the great cross up potential on your dash hold D. It, this is just an extremely good attack right there. And, you know, you do have the, uh, the hold D there. And you pull them in. And just repeat the process a couple of times, you know what I mean? <laughs> you can pick up, and uh, since I'll pass, I'll try to go for a dash attack or so. It's it's a cool character, guys. It's very solid, very solid. It doesn't have, like, a lot of cheap, uh, mashy gimmicks that a lot of characters have, but it does have the big gimmick with the dash slide. So this is going to be hard to deal with. Like, um, which side is he going to go? Is he going to keep the dash attack going instead of sliding? Is he going to stay on the same side? Is he going to get me in the big juggle? You know, get you in the big juggles and all that. So, I, I just, I'm, I'm just, I don't know why I don't even, you know, do like the five hits after that. It sh I probably should, but, you know, I'm not doing this. I need to be doing this. I don't know why I'm not doing that. Uh, but, yeah, it's a pretty solid character, guys. You know, it doesn't look like super amazing like Strider or Mephisto did day one. But it's very, very solid, very, very solid. So very interesting, very interesting. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Wow, it looked angry, didn't it? That's like the angriest fruity dance I've ever seen. <laughs> what, what? Is he petting a dog? Wow, what, what was that? I don't even know.